Ashley, what's going on? Where are we at? Doctor. We're at the doctor's, aren't we? Yeah. So Kay had a re or Ev had a really, really miserable cough. She still does. So things are going down. So with these nebulizers, you know, you get a little mouthpiece and you put it in your mouth and you breathe it in. And I said, well, not really a problem with her. Just, she'll put it in her mouth regardless, right? Yeah. What are you guys doing? So sorry for the buzzing in the background. Obviously the nebulizer is quite loud. We are here because um, Ev has had this really nasty cough ever since her RSV and we just kind of didn't want her to have it anymore, I guess. It's really, really, um, like, it sounds really bad. It sounds kind of painful and burning and like bronchitis. So we decided to come bring her in and they kind of agree with us that they feel like it's just more than what the RSV should be doing at this point. What are we doing? Kaylee's strapped in because she has just been really bad the past couple of days. So she's strapped in. We are now here at Target. I got some Chick-fil-A. We're kind of chowing down before we go in. So let me show you guys what all happened. <coughs> Everly has been having this wicked cough and she had RSV. And um, they said, you know, it'd be like six weeks or so until the cough goes away. And I still have a little bit of my cough, but not like she does. It sounds like extreme bronchitis. Like it sounds like it's painful coming from like the bottom of her chest. You can like feel it burning when you listen to her cough. Oh. Of course, like the second. otherwise so like congestion wise she's fine her throat's fine her ears are fine they checked her chest there's nothing in her chest totally fine so um, Danny and I both have asthma and so they kind of think it's probably related to that um, and with the RSV so they did the nebulizer treatment after the first nebulizer treatment her coughs and stuff aren't any better at all but with that being said um, they still think it's still a lot of stuff to do with asthma so you want french fries or chicken so we were sent home with a nebulizer that looks like this um and after insurance they said it's going to run about 150 dollars um as long as we haven't met our deductible yet it would be covered in our deductible or like if we already reached our deductible then it would be 100 percent covered um and so she's going to have to use the nebulizer every four hours for the next 24 hours we have to bring her back in on Saturday morning and reassess everything and see where we want to go from there to a lot of people this would be a really scary um, worrisome situation and I'm not gonna say it's not like scary or that I'm not worried about it but I myself have asthma and Danny has asthma I have weather and exercise induced asthma so I can't go outside in extreme heat or extreme cold without needing my inhaler um, as well as exercise, I can't run, I can't, you know, the typical things that a kid with asthma, like when you picture a kid with asthma, those things that that kid would not be able to do, that's basically me. Um, and so it's not as crazy or as scary to me as it would be to another parent. You guys can hear her. Even though I've never gone through, um, at least I don't think I did, or I don't remember going through treatments like this as a baby. I have done nebulizer treatments at the doctor's office, not at home, um, for asthma and stuff like that. Um, I, but I'm very conscious and very aware of asthma and the needs of somebody with asthma and um, how to deal with it and all that kinds of stuff because it's just been a lifelong thing for me too. So I'm already very aware of asthma and what it is and everything that goes into it so 
I'm going to keep you guys updated. We're going into Target to pick up the medication that goes yeah, along baby, with it and some diapers. If I can find diapers, because let me tell you, everything's being sold out because everybody's worried that we're going to be under quarantine here soon. So I'm hoping that I can get some diapers because I legitimately need diapers. I don't need to stockpile them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to show you guys everything that we have to do. And hopefully all of this will help some other parent out there who is going through a similar thing or has questions about different things like that. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And I am going to go into Target. All right. So of course my camera died right as I was getting ready to do this. So I'm going to be doing it on my phone. Here is our little nebulizer um, medication that goes into it. Come here, baby. Oh, you here. I want you to keep playing with that and I'll show all of this. So this was the stuff that we got from the doctor's office from when she just used it. Um, if you're not familiar with a nebulizer at all um, and you do have a kid that is having asthmatic problems or bronchitis or anything like that and you do use a nebulizer, um, this is what it looks like. So it has a tube that goes into the actual electronic unit. So basically what's going to happen is this little piece comes off here and then the medication is going to go inside. This basically creates a vapor and I'll just, I'll explain it more in depth whenever I do it. But the medicine will go into this little area and then it closes off. And so for Everly, I just left it like this when we were at the doctor's office. If you're an adult or an older kid and you have somebody that can use the um, attachment, this goes into your mouth like this. Now she's not gonna use it, so I'll just show you. It goes like this, just like that, and this attaches on here. So this will allow the vapor to come up into this tube, into the little mouthpiece. You put it in your mouth and you breathe in through your mouth. This is open in the back here. So I'm not sure how you can see. It's open in the back, so that allows you to breathe in and out as you are using it. So anyway, that is what it would look like if you are an adult using it or if you have an older kid that understands that. Um, I might try to see if Everly will use it. The It's coming with another one in the box, so that or I can sterilize it just to see maybe if she'll use it and she might like to chew on it, but she just really liked doing this and um, chewing on this part and the vapor went right into her mouth. Alrighty, so this is what the box looks like of the one that we got. We're gonna go ahead and open it and I'll show you everything that it comes with. So the first thing we have here is reusable nebulizer, the gold standard for nebulized medication. This is, I will say, one for children. So here is similar tubing to before. Here's this little device and it looks like it's got the same little kind of mouthpiece here that goes over top. So this is a little face mask it looks like. So they told me to go ahead and use the face mask if I feel like she would wear it. I don't know that she will but I can also give it a try. Evie do you want to come see the little face mask? Do you want to wear the little face mask? You want to demonstrate? We're going to sanitize everything then, okay? Okay, here. Is that funny? Yeah. Yeah? Off of me. You want it off? Yeah. Okay, this says, set this bag aside. This is a backup nebulizer cup that is only intended for short-term short use. I finally figured out when they say that you're going to have to use, um, when you're going to have to use algebra and all that stuff that they're giving you. I figured out why. Now you know. Right now, <laughs> she's just over here playing. Hi. Hi, Evie. She got really, really, really hot, so I did take her clothes off. But, all right, I am going to go ahead and get all of this sorted out. I'm going to try to put this on her and see what happens. So right now, I'm just kind of letting her play around with the equipment, seeing what she does with... It's a little, do you like that? What do you think? Do you like that one or do you like the other one? Okay, so I've twisted the top off and now I'm going to squeeze the medicine in. Okay, you don't have to turn it this way. Right? Look at you, you're a natural. You're a 
very natural. You knew that you were gonna have asthma and you just, you just knew. I know. I'm sorry, baby.